watch this bystander chase down, pin down a drunk driver who tried to run away after killing a Texas police officer. Hey, my name is Lance. I'm a California private investigator and I'm sharing some information on what to do and not to do if, if um, you're a, involved in a hit and run or if you witness a hit and run. So in this, hit, this scene here, we're gonna set it up where this guy is, is running away from a hit and run. Um, he was driving that Jeep behind me and the guy behind him is the one that was chasing him down and then held him down until the police got there. He, he knew he was drunk. He could obviously tell the guy was drunk and he was, you know, he thought the guy was gonna wait until the police got there and he ended up taking off running. So the guy, the good Samaritan chases him down. So how, what would you do if you came across a felony of hit and run or an accident and one of the drivers tries to take off, especially one that is obviously drunk and you see that the car that he hit, somebody's is dead. Because the person, there was three people in the car, an off-duty uh, Texas police officer who was killed, and his wife and kid, and they were seriously injured. So, make sure, you, would you chase this guy down like he did? And then also, would you um, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button, hit the bell notification, so you'd be notified when we upload additional videos, and also hit the thumbs up for this video. Let me let me play it from the beginning. Somebody, you kill somebody. Stay right there. You He's stay lucky right that's there. all he got. You see what you did? The back. Look at this. Look at this damage he did. This is crazy. And they're trying to get the people out. They're still pinned inside. 